businesses across the country are opening up. Meanwhile, the U.S. death toll from the coronavirus continues to climb nationwide. Close to 80,000 Americans have died. More than 1.3 have been infected. Elise Preston has more on the numbers. Florida hair and nail salons along with barber shops were back in business Monday as much of the state entered phase two of its reopening plan. Making sure that everyone sanitizes and washing their hands before they come in or when they come in. Uh, and as appointments come to the shop, they'll have to wait in their car. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis gave the green light with new requirements to contain the spread of the coronavirus. We need to go based off facts and based off evidence. The governors of Arizona, Indiana, and Arkansas eased restrictions for restaurants in their states. But in the nation's capital, Mayor Muriel Bowser says the district will convert the D.C. Convention Center into a makeshift hospital and indicated the likelihood of the state reopening May 15th may not be possible. We have yet to see a 14-day decline in community transmission. And so we continue to have a lot of work to do. The state worst hit, New York, is preparing to reopen in some places Friday as hospitalization and death rates there drop to levels not seen since March. We're coming out of the other side. So in many ways, from my point of view, we're on the other side of the mountain. Governor Cuomo says businesses that are low risk can resume operations this week. Landscaping, gardening, drive-in movie theaters. Talk about going back to the future. As New York moves forward, new analysis from the CDC shows that from mid-March to early May, about 24,000 more people died in New York City than researchers would normally expect. That's about 5,300 more deaths than previously attributed to COVID-19 during that time. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York.